Hi, Roseanne here. It's uh, Sunday, September 3rd, 2023, and it's about 522 Pacific time. Uh, I didn't know I was going to record something today, but uh, the, uh, the spirit moved me. So yeah, you see what it says? at the top of the screen it's not rocket science it's racketeering now i've been around long enough that i know that most things that we deal with on our daily life decisions we have to make uh they're, they're not real difficult, but a decision is hard to make until you make it. Then you make it, and then you've made it. Okay. You've made the decision. Okay. That's one thing. Most things, unless you are a rocket scientist, unless you are some type of a, a, a scientist, a uh, a physicist, <laughs> a chemist, uh, somebody who designs buildings and designs transportation systems. There's lots of things that are complicated, okay? But What we're going through today, and we've been going through this for a long time. It, it seems that to me over the years, things have gotten just more and more confusing, crazier and crazier. And it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. The, the bureaucracy has made things like, oh, this is so difficult. We can't solve this problem. Nah, too too complicated. Well, you know what? Back in uh, two thousand eight, we we had something called the uh, uh, Great Financial Crisis. It's never stopped. What led up to it was not rocket science. It was. Uh, racketeering but the government the government that's supposed to be our government said oh, you know this is real complicated here all right we we're gonna tell you what we need to do and we're gonna take the very people who caused all these illegal foreclosures, who caused all this suffering and death and families breaking up. Um, we're, we're, we're gonna, we're not thinking about them. Okay. We, we know what's best. And we're gonna take the people who conjured up all these crimes and all these frauds that made people suffer. And it's still going on. Okay, don't, don't think it's stopped. Don't think the 2008 financial crisis is something that happened in the past. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so they're going to take all these people and they're going to reward them. And they're going to make them whole. And they're going to say, you know what, we're going to we're going to go like this. We're going to give you a little teeny pat on the hand and we're going to say, oh, pay this fine and everything's going to be all right. And the people out there, they, they don't get it anyway. So everything's going to be all right. And we're going to say we we fixed everything. Well, they didn't fix everything. They're still corrupt. They're still perpetrating fraud 
on this country and the people who live here. And people are buying it. People are believing it. Okay, look. The fact that Donald Trump got indicted, what, like, nine, not, there's like 91 counts? Am I right? Am I wrong? Whatever. I, I don't care. It could be 257. Doesn't make any difference. Okay. When you commit a crime of the magnitude <laughs> that somebody like Donald Trump and you can see the magnitude of crimes committed by all sorts of real nice guys in $2,000, $5,000 suits. They're not nice guys. They're screwing you and you're taking it laying down. So look, just, just, just kind of let this percolate in your mind. I want you to watch the con. It's free. I want you to take the time. I want you to watch it. We don't have all kinds of time to waste. The planet's on fire in various places. People have to leave their home. They can't live there. It's not habitable. There's people all over the world without potable water. And you know what? We got it right here. In the United States of America that you're so proudly waving a flag for somebody who's been screwing people their entire life. Well, you know what? Donald Trump ain't alone. A lot of folks out there pulling the same kind of crap that he's been pulling. The way he treats people. They're, they're just like disposable napkins or something. He's done. You know what? He's small potatoes compared to what the thieves, the crooks on Wall Street did. Okay. So you want to see where Donald Trump maybe got some of his ideas on how to do these crimes that he's finally now being indicted for. I want you to watch the con. Just watch the con. It's free. It ain't going to cost you anything. Go to www.thecon.tv. It's free. Follow my colleague, Patrick Lovell. He produced the con. He's given you over 400 videos on this channel that you're watching right now. And he put together 19 episodes of another outstanding series called The New Untouchables. Look, you know what? I don't I don't have a whole lot of time. I am I am 74 years old. Okay. Uh I don't know how long I'm gonna be around. And I gotta do everything I possibly can to share facts when I'm not sharing facts that are in Patrick's work. I'm sharing food. I'm cooking for people. Okay. That's what I do. We can all, we can all do that. Okay. It's, it's really not difficult. You just got to make a choice. You want to do it or you don't. You want to sit on your butt, watch TV, go to brunch, go to buffets, go do whatever. Keep your mouth shut. 
Keep enjoying your peace. Don't say anything. Somebody else will. You want to do that? Hey, God bless. What could I say? What could I say? You want the country to go to hell in a handbasket? You want the the people who don't who they just don't give a damn about anybody except themselves and their friends. They don't care about you. What do they care? They don't care. What do you care about? What do you what do you care about? Think about it. Okay? And while you're thinking about it, go watch the cat. Remember, nothing's that complicated. What they're doing to you is not rocket science. It's racketeering. Onward. <laughs>